He is breathing. You can hear him. Listen. Things, and that's one of the calls that I will never forget. Call me crazy, but I do know that when they scream, they mean different things. And it is horrible. I know that when I hear that sound, I know that something is really, really wrong. I heard what I now associate to a dying goat sound. So this may not be a good ending for the for him. I don't know. All I know is that usually when they're this like this, they it's really hard to bring them back. So I don't know. I don't know. But please don't close your eyes. Hi friends. I am waiting for my video to go live. Today is the 30th and I'm sitting here. The window is over there that overlooks the goat house and then all of a sudden I hear this awful scream like it sounded like a cat. If you know what a cat sounds like, look at this. Um, I need to hurry. I'm waiting for the water to heat. And so I go and I find him crying. Uh, he is trying to follow his mom. He is moving around. He's not laying down. But so, I, you know, I'm just like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I just cannot tell what's wrong with him. But he's hunched. And we all know what that means. So I brought him in, put him on my lap, and I thought, he surely is going to be wanting to get out. He doesn't. I check his temperature, and he is the, I don't know, 99.8 or 98.9, I don't remember. <clears throat> so I'm heating water. I'm going to give him a really hot bath. Uh, his stomach is doing all kinds of weird noises like gurgling noises like gas noises and I'm afraid well when I put my my uh, finger in his mouth his tongue is cold too so I'm assuming that something is wrong with him um, clearly there's something wrong with him I don't have to assume this so I'm gonna try to give him a good bath and I just don't know what it is. This year it's been the hardest year with kids ever. And if it wasn't because I was about to sit here and wait for the premiere for today's video, I wouldn't have heard him because today I decided I was gonna do all the things that I need to get done in here. Like I was going through my winter clothes and bringing my summer clothes and all the things and and now it's like, nope, 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 nope. I'm so sorry. And I can't find my <sighs> stupid heater, heating pad. I cannot find it. I can't. I've looked everywhere. And I'm sure my husband put it somewhere where I can't find it. He's not here. The kids are not here. Nobody's here. Just me. And, um... I feel like if I don't do anything, he's gonna die. Because what happens usually is whatever is wrong with him, he and he not he's not scouring or anything. But whatever is wrong with him, it's gonna make him get cold and then he's not gonna be able to recover. So I need to hurry up and get this heating done fast. So I'm gonna grab a bucket. I'll show you whatever I can. Again, I just, I'm going to hurry. So while the water is heating, I'm going to keep him warm with a heat dry, uh, blow dryer. I don't even know what I'm saying. try to show you this I honestly think that if I would have waited 
20 minutes more, he would have died. So I'm gonna put him in real hot water. It's gonna shock him for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna open a little bit more. Uh, but I think that's the only way that I'll be able to put his temperature up. He's going limb on me and he's not holding his head up right now. And I just, he's, I just want to give my best shot. Can you see how he's going them on me? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. So, he is really not holding his head that well out. And he's not crying. So, this may not be a good ending for, the, for him. I don't know. All I know is that usually when they're this, like this, they it's really hard to bring them back. So, I don't know. I don't know. But please don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes on me, okay? Come on, baby, come on, come on. You can do this. Come on, baby. I'm gonna try my best until the end. But I think he's giving up. And I'm doing this because I want to make sure if it is the stupid lies that it dies. Uh, soap, water, hot weather, sun will kill it. So I am, now I'm gonna wait for this hot water to be done. I think it's done. He is not doing great. Okay, 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 baby. Okay, okay, I'm gonna dry you. And you, you're gonna make it. You have to make it. I don't care that you're full of soap. You're gonna make it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna dry him off. I need to hear him scream. That's what I want to do. I want to make him scream. I know. We're gonna do this. He's starting to cry, but uh, he, he has no strength. So he cries, like really, he barely cries. You can hear him. He's really trying to cry out loud, really high, but he can't do it. Because he doesn't have the strength. I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I am keeping him in a sternal position, which means that he's on his belly. Or he could be up, he can't be on his side. Temperature must be up. Okay. So, I'll be back in a minute. That's an ideal uh, situation, but he is in there. The hair dryer is here, and he is in, in a blanket. He is sternal. I'm gonna show you, but and this is really really warm in here so and this is not the box that i usually use but i'm by myself i was moving stuff around i can't find anything right now so this is gonna have to do um the technique <laughs> of warming a kid like this is to um leave it like this for 25 minutes and check every 25 minutes their temperature so that's what i'm gonna do while i try to gather uh, my thoughts and what i'm gonna do in this heating pad that it's in number three the setting three uh he's in a diaper just in case i don't think it's gonna pee or poop at this point and what i've been doing is oh this is making a mess doing corn syrup and 
This is cayenne pepper that I only keep for the goats. Um, I've actually had it, never used it, and now I just use it for the goats. And I do a mix, a little paste, and I put it in his gums. As you can see, he's very lethargic, and I'm gonna turn this on so you can see his temperature right now is, oh, well, it's as low right now, but it's 100. That's, and he should be 101.5. And that's at the point that he can eat. Now, when I found him outside, he was down, but he got up and started chasing his mom to drink some milk. She wouldn't stand for him because she was excited about me being there, thinking I was going to give her dinner. Because it's dinner time, for sure. And um, she... You know, I was walking around and he wasn't insisting. Then he tried to nurse from Brie. So he wasn't 100% lethargic at the time that I found him. So, I, uh, you know, I don't think it was too, too late. But now that I gave him a good bath, you can see a little bit of the eggs that he has in his head. And after talking to my friend and vet... She told me that it's very likely the lice that is causing these issues um, and that likely what Clarita got started with that. So I'm going to wait every 15 minutes. I'm going to do the paste of the corn syrup and the cayenne pepper and I'm going to feed it to him, put it in his gums. He is kind of wanting to suck so that's a good sign. And I'm going to put him a warm sweater. I don't know how much he's been eating today. I don't think he's been eating that much because this is kind of a slow process. Like, the temperature go can go down very fast, but usually doesn't. It's kind of a progressive issue. So this could have started hours ago. And the only reason why I knew something was really wrong was because I heard what I now associate to a dying goat sound and that's exactly the sound that Rosie was making before she died and uh, you know it's kind of a very particular way I wish I had the camera on so you could hear it uh, if for anything for you know just so you know for your own goats you know information that might be helpful but it's like a horrible sound. It's like it's like a really long one, like a kitty. It's like but with a with like a higher pitch. It is horrible. I know that when I hear that sound, I know that something is really really wrong. Call me crazy, but I do know that when they scream, they mean different things, and that's one of the calls that I will never forget. So, I have Five more minutes before is the next um, time that I need to give the syrup and the cayenne pepper. And what you do with that is you help their blood sugar that goes down as they are cold. Their blood sugar goes down and their organ starts to shut down. Hope is really jealous, so she's trying to get loved right now. And so by putting that you're basically warming them from the inside out with a cayenne pepper i thought he was gonna make some kind of face or something he was like he didn't care but if there is something that i've learned is with clarita is that wrapping them oh, stop hope wrapping them in this heating pad really helps them feel more comfortable and um it helps them sleep when they don't feel very well. The vet explained to me that when they have a stomach ache, the one thing that will make them feel better is the warmth. So that's, you know, and they usually get cold when they have a problem. So that's why they find comfort and they try to sleep. Now, he is breathing. You can hear him. Listen. So he's not 
my son told me, I don't think he's breathing. And I'm like, I know he is. So I'm going to leave him for about, I don't know, two, three more minutes. Then I'm going to check his temperature again. And I am going to do the little mix again to warm him from the inside out. So he's up to temperature. Uh, he is 102. He needs to be at least 101.5 in order to drink or eat. And he is eating right now. I brought him some alfalfa hay. <laughs> he can eat. He's a little weak. As you can see, he's still not. Yeah. He's a little weak. Come on, sir. We need to sit Next down. Morning, and um, been doing the same, putting him wrapped in the heating pad and a blanket on top of him to keep him comfortable. And when he wakes up, I put him in his box with the food i'll show you it's kind of messy right now but here is where he's been eating just have to change that towel but he's eating hay drinking water every time he gets up from the couch he comes here and drinks that entire thing full of water i mean like, almost like inhales the water and when I let him stay here, I cover him in a little burrito with that. His poop is normal, as you can see. He took the time to leave a lot of presents while he was eating a few minutes ago. But, um, yeah, he slept here and he did just fine. He also had four ounces in the bottle. I, gave, I would try to give him four more, but he only tried for a little bit but then he was tired and he wanted to come back into his sleeping quarters and um, he's a little bit better um, I mean he's moving around more and he is more awake he's trying to nurse from my chin and my nose and my fingers so that means that he's starting to get hungry so I brought him outside so he can eat from his mom and um, I'm gonna go get things ready. I am not gonna milk this morning. I left the babies with their moms last night because I didn't know about this little guy and how much time and effort I would have to put into him. But as you can see, he looks better. Um, his tail is up, he's not hunching anymore. He's even playing with Hope. Right now Hope is playing rough with Kitten. But he is moving and he's doing much, much better. Come on, I'm gonna open it, okay? Come on, come on. You can see that he's doing better. <laughs> I'm gonna open this. And they're all gonna run out. Oh, 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 you're gonna be run over. They know where the food is. <laughs> they're trying to fight to see who gets to those first. But now he is drinking from Clara. <laughs> and I don't, I don't care if he wants to drink from Clara. That's his mom. He's gonna go drink from his mom. Come here, sir. This is your mama over here. You let him eat. You need to keep moving, sir. If you're gonna stand there and not do anything, you're gonna have to go inside. Do you want to drink some milk from your mommy? There's nothing here, boy. Right there. Go find your mommy. Go find your mommy. There's nothing in here. I'm gonna let him stay with the kids a little bit, for a little bit. He's drinking from mocha now. 
he had four ounces this morning so I'm not too worried about how much milk he is drinking but I'm just worried about him separating or getting cold because he's not eating so but um, today is day two and as you can see he is as hungry as ever I have baby goats climbing all over me but I wanted to show you the improvement in a couple of days I have Clarita here who's trying to get love and her brother now I also want to close this video with my thoughts of what I think happened and uh, kind of a root of the problem I think of Clarita and this little boy and possibly others that got better and you know they didn't get to that point specifically Hi, Captain America he's like Rami there's a puppy that is cheating me and she wants to play with me and I don't want to play with her you leave that boy alone if he doesn't want to play <laughs> she wants to play with him but I was doing my research and talking to my online vet who was telling me that the root of the problem is more than likely the lies I've mentioned this before I feel like every year when we have babies we get lies and talking to my vet she was telling me that what happens is that they're the most active at the end of the spring uh, at the end of winter beginning of spring and that is usually kidding season I mean if you're kidding around that time of the year it's just more likely that they will get them and here is what she was saying she was telling me that more than likely the sucking lice came back or they got reinfected after being uh, dusted with python dust and so after a few days if you don't notice them because you know as they get reinfected they start to lay eggs then they will continue to suck the blood making them anemic and when they are dealing with anemia they stop eating or they eat less and less and less until they're very weak and when they're very weak they start to get cold and when they're cold their organs shut down she sent me a couple of articles that honestly I mean they kind of explain it kind of explains the same thing she was explaining to me the lice itself is not going to kill any baby goat but if the lice is not treated or if they're reinfected and you can't tell what happens is that the anemia more than likely will kill them this is something that with bigger goats it's not a problem but or usually unless they're sickly or they're you know they have other problems or they have a not so great immune system it doesn't really happen with older goats or adults but with babies is very common and she was telling me that in this area she's seen quite a few people uh, throughout the years that she practiced here that that was a big problem and and so she was telling me that there is this one pour on product that you can apply on goats that usually is not as harsh as others that will kind of um, I don't know if they dry the skin or they kind of affect the skin where you put it on so I'm gonna put it on the screen I think it's called Cydectin and I ordered another one to have for the older goats and now she told me that this one in particular you can use it in you know younger baby goats so I decided to do that and I've decided to share this information with you because lice is one of those things that you will notice they are very it's very noticeable on goats especially if you're buying a new baby goat if you open their hair on the top around the ears especially in those two areas you will be able to see it you will also see the eggs along their spine going towards the back that's usually where you are going to uh, <laughs> I have Claudita that she's trying to nurse from my leg I swear Claudita you're such a weirdo I have no nipples on my legs 
I thought I never had to say that in my life, but just n now you know. <sighs> They're bored. That's what they are. So they want to be extra naughty. And mother and, you know, Clarita is like a mini Clara, so. It only makes sense that it's the two of them that are being silly. Oh, and that's her child. That's Clara's child. My hair is going to be a mess in one minute. So I just wanted to let you know that as far as I know, that's probably what we were dealing with. So anyways, I wanted to give you the good news that he's doing better, which means absolutely nothing because at this point I've realized that I have to expect the unexpected, which could be 100% recovery in like a few seconds or, you know, death and it just you know it's just one of those things that I can't really um, explain but at this point it's like one way or the other I just I just I'm kind of on that extreme um, ride I guess so anyways as you can see Clarita got better Clarita had the same treatment that he did I gave her some ivermectin and I kept her inside warm I made sure that she was eating and really I did not have to treat for the anemia on neither of these two kids which means squat because if tomorrow his FAMACHA score is really bad I'm gonna have to start him on something so that is the update and that is how things are going around here so i hope this information was useful for those of you that have goats and that are learning um i think that all my struggles uh, shared on the internet i hope that all my struggles that i share here on the internet are really going to help somebody else out there that are dealing with the same symptoms if there was something that made a difference as far as eating and when they were very weak was the fact that they were inside they had the heating pad around them when they were sleepy so they could be warm and then i could warm them up too the bath helped a lot especially if you give them a bath with dawn soap or with a specific soap for lice that helps too and um Putting them whenever they wake up with food is just keeping them warm really perks them up and makes them hungry so even if you're just waiting for your vet to get back to you or if you are going to have a vet appointment soon I just want you to know that there are things that you can do and the things that you can do at home is keep them warm and that way you kind of trigger their hunger despite the fact that they could be you know weak or just not wanting to eat as soon as you warm them up they get the reflex back if they weren't nursing they will get it right back and if they were not eating they will starve they will be starving as soon as they get back to their normal temperature carrot and hope are playing and look at clarita she's like why are they doing that what's the fun on that 